So if I were to think of one theologian that I have uh, benefited from or who love, whom I've read a good bit of, it'd be without doubt uh, Augustine. So Augustine, the great uh, church father from North Africa, his years are 354 to 430. He wrote on essentially everything. So whether it's the nature of creation, the nature of sin, the nature of grace, um, the nature of words and things and what do words mean and can we have meaning in language. Um, he wrote extensively on the life of the mind and uh, how does learning take place. So uh, as I look back at my own theological development, my reading, my writing, without doubt Augustine looms large in, uh, in all of that. It doesn't really matter where you start in one sense. Many of us come into Augustine with um, confessions, which is a natural place for the young or not so young theological student uh, to start. So you might start with confessions. You might start with the city of God, his, his great exploration of the origin, growth, and development of the two cities, which are the city of God and the city of man. I would just jump in somewhere. If you want something a bit deeper, uh, Augustine's book on the Trinity, in which he explores what does it mean for God to be one God and three persons, and what is that God going to be like in the future when we see God one day face to face. But I love Augustine for uh, many, uh, many reasons. He is existentially meaningful. He's uh, personally edifying to read, theologically rich. And when I read Augustine, I'm really shaped and trained how to think theologically. So I would encourage any person, if you're wanting to get into a great theologian, to take a stab at reading really the doctor of grace, and that is St. Augustine.